Hi there. Welcome back to another episode of Studio 64. In this episode, we shall take a look at a 2021 model release from Tarmac Works, in collaboration with IXO Models. The Porsche 911 GT3R, 24 Hour of Spa 2019 Winter Edition. But first, I'd like to thank our friends from Tarmac Works for sending me this model to showcase in this channel. Not to be mistaken as a sponsored video though, which means my take on this model would be fair and unbiased. Having said that, let's get on with this featured diecast model. As seen in the intro, this Porsche 911 GT3R, with the Golf livery and under the GPX Racing Team, won the 24 hours of Spa in 2019. They finished the race with 363 laps in 24 hours and 17.51 seconds. Unwrapping the plastic cover, what we have here is a cutout box packaging with the Golf Racing color scheme. This model is under the Hobby 64 collection. Tarmac works his main line that focus on racing cars and modified vehicles. It's also the collection where they feature more detailed work on the model. This model is an official Golf licensed product, as seen here on the back of the box. Model is placed in this clear acrylic display case. Plus points on the rounded edges of the case. Stored here below is an authentication card, identifying what chassis number and series number you have, since this is a limited production run model. Oh, and I noticed, the box has a really cool artwork. The blurred image of the racetrack is a great background against this race car. The plastic display base is designed to look like a part of the racetrack, with the side curb neatly blurred out. The model's tag is clearly marked on the front end of the base. The car is propped up on this separate mount, so I'd be careful not to lose this part. And here it is. First thing that struck me are the golf racing livery, and the paint finish. The iconic golf racing livery is really well applied on this model, capturing the livery of the real car. You'll also notice immediately that the wheels do not roll. It moves a little, but doesn't exactly roll. Most of Tarmac Works' Hobby 64 models are released like this. In case you're unaware of this. Though they do have the Global 64 collection that has the rolling wheels. Speaking of Hobby 64, one advantage of these cars is that you'll pretty much have an accurate and proportion scale diecast. Evidently seen on the stance of this model. A closer look at this model, and starting with the wheels, we see these huge orange rims. The rear rims have these silver V markings, whilst the front don't. I do find the paint finish to be on the thick side, making the edges look soft. The slick rubber tires are detailed with the Pirelli P0 branding. The side mirrors are quite detailed. The mirror seems to be painted on, could also be a sticker. A bit rough on the casting though, with some edges not smoothing out. I really like the window detail on this model, with the black trim and silver rivet accents. The rear quarter window even has vents. Nice. Moving to the front end, you'll surely take notice of the iconic orange golf racing stripe, plus the very nicely applied tampo graphics. A closer look at the headlights, we can see the chrome finish inside. The plastic lenses are quite clear, and the black cowl makes the headlight assembly complete. A very nice detail, especially in race cars, are the tow hooks. And in this model, red metal tow hooks. Both front and rear. So cool. Two antennas are mounted on top. These are made of metal, however still very fragile. Best to avoid touching them, especially the long one. Rear wing is quite high, and attached pretty well. However, try to avoid holding the model from the wing. Other than that, it's straight and well made. Moving to the rear, the black paint finish is such a nice contrast to the blue and orange, as well as the tampo graphics. Notable features here are the twin exhaust pipes, the rear metal tow hook, as mentioned earlier, and the red tail light plastic inserts. Looking inside the cabin, we see that some parts are quite defined. Such as the steering wheel, with its paddle shifters clearly identifiable. However, separating the body from the chassis, the detailed interior of this model is unraveled.
The base is made of plastic. Not much detail here since it is a race car. And here's a short montage of the well-placed and accurate livery of this model. And there you have it. The Porsche 911 GT3R, 24 hours of spa 2019 winner by Tarmac Works, in collaboration with IXO models. One of the joy I get in collecting these die-cast models, apart from my passion for cars, is the opportunity to have something historic. In this case, the Porsche 911 GT3R. And I must say, Tarmac Works has truly given this car justice. The details are well thought of, and the production is excellent. Though there are a bit of quality control issues, they're very minimal. The wheels don't roll since it's a Hobby 64 collection, but easily customizable, which I think I'll do for this Porsche. Golf racing collectors will truly enjoy this Porsche. What do you guys think? Leave your comments below. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, it would be awesome if you hit the like button. And do consider subscribing to catch more Studio 64 feature videos. Till next time. Be safe.